Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Kinko. We're back again. We're gonna do a little follow-up to yesterday's video. In today's video, we are gonna discuss the higher end um yeah, self-sufficient, self-sustaining when whirlwind barbarian uh for the purpose of magic finding in Travancore. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, I'm already in Act 3. Big chilling with the double uh grandfathers. I think yeah, I was memeing. There's no real reason to use double grandfathers aside from the fact that it looks kind of cool. Even though he carries them like they're two like wooden spoons, but they're enormous swords. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I found one of these. I think trade for the other, and decided they would always reside here. Anyways, <clears throat> we'll do the build. So right now, um, what I have is the grief, very important weapon, as you can recall from yesterday's video. It's just too, it's just too busted with how um, damage mechanics work in the game. Just trust me. Doesn't matter what this number says. Doesn't matter none of that. You can make this say whatever you want. But I bet you if you Limit tested. If you live test it, grief will be more effective in almost all scenarios. Uh, so I got an Ariat's face with Cham in it. Uh, buddy donated the Cham to me. I was like, dude, I don't want to have to wear a Raven Frost. Please hook me up. He did. Love that piece. Got the High Lord still. Got the. I like the Storm Shield with the Um. um there's something about. I mean, you could put an Ist in it. Um is kind of overkill, but there's something about just being secure, being safe, knowing that your Barbarian is really going to be able to stand here and tank a lot of these Hydras and the Trav. Gore Riders. I think this is pretty standard, but really, when the, this piece is, is in question, you could use either Gore Riders or you could use War Travs, right? Well, there's a important balance we're trying to strike here with kill speed versus magic find percent, right? And I think Gore Riders for me, it's just like it's just crisper on the on the kill speed. I can one, two, or three tap, really two or three tap the Trav Council members, and I think Gore Riders is a big piece of that. So uh, this ring is a FCR ring. Uh, I like to hit the break point when I'm with my double hodos. I'll show you that in a sec. But you need one 10 FCR ring. Um, this one nicely rolled with some cold res and poison res as well. Pretty high. Uh, Arachnid mesh, also really important to hit the break point um, for the 20 cast rate. The one plus the skills will take as well. And then I just got an upgrade here yesterday. I found this, uh, I think, in cows. So instead of my old ring that I showed you in that video, which was my active one for this live build as well, which was only about like 2 and 3% uh, dual leech mana life. Or maybe three and five, something like that. This one's six and seven. Uh, plus, it has some pretty solid resistances on it as well. We take those. Laying of hand standard. So here's the interesting part. Um, I usually don't run with all these war cries charms, but I, I have them, so I wanted to test that out. But this can all be like more MF charms or what have you. So these are all just like seven MF and some other, you know, attack rating max damage. Those don't help us too too much. I mean, these are these are things that I've you know worked over the course of the season to get um but again with this grief a lot of these problems that you otherwise have would have with dexterity for example you just don't really have um ignores targets defense is 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 a huge uh stat you know with all the deadly strike crushing blow blah blah everything else um you'll see why this build shines and why this is a a travancal shredder so this guy all told is 252 uh mf uh, that largely comes from these small charms, comes from the Enigma, right? We didn't have that piece yesterday. I guess I didn't even show that just now. That is an Enigma. Pretty solid there. 756, yada, yada. So that's really where you're getting it. 252 is, is basically spot on for what you want to be for Magic Find. There's a lot of schools of thought around it. More is better. Um, but again, when we're talking about striking that balance with... Um, kill speed and, and having just the, the right amount of mf it's like it's like this apex point right and so right when you hit you know above between 200 and 300 you can kill stuff and you don't die that's actually the powerhouse that's where you want to be so uh i forgot to do on switch we got the double hodos that's not even terribly expensive i mean mid-season this is this isn't bad um and so the reason we do that is that's like plus eight skills something ridiculous right so then we drop in we'll take note we got 1500 health right now and as soon as we hit these we're damn near 4,000. You know, that's pretty sweet. So when we look at our skill tree, what our war cries at, it's at 41. It can go much higher. But again, I think that's pretty solid. So pick your poison if you want to if you want to teleport or you want to just run over. I do either or. Um, and then the move here is like I like to whirlwind until I get one isolated. And then I just hit him with a berserk. If you remember from yesterday, this is a lot smoother than yesterday. These guys are getting absolutely destroyed. 
So from this point, I always switch back to my hodos, as you can see. And then I just start working all the bodies. Let's see what else we get. Super fun little run. Boom, boom. And really, if you don't explain your gear every time you do the run, it takes less than a minute. We're in and out. That, my friends, is the high end uh, response to yesterday's video for the budget. If you haven't seen that one, I hope that one pops up for you at this point. But you can build this build and you can really, um, you know, hammer the Travancol. And that's a good thing because if you don't know uh, kind of the drop chances of how the council members work, each of them have three chances, essentially. Like, it's it's a must. They must drop three things. It's three drop rolls on every single person that you kill in Travancol, or that's the, the council, rather. Um, and that's insane. Um, and you can do some great things with that. It's one of the best places for rune finding. Um, if you have enough magic finds, it can be a really good place to farm gear, potentially. I mean, uh, and it's quick and easy. So that's it. If you got any questions about the build, please let me know. Oh, I forgot to show you. And this one, I do have the, the 1820 barb torch as well as an annihilus decent with the 10 uh, experience gained. 39 geese is also where that 252 magic find is coming from. I'll get better at presenting these and not forgetting very important gear pieces. But you guys got to get better at commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing this shit with your other Diablo friends. And I just cursed. That's 10 push-ups today. You hate to see that. Anyways, thank you very much for uh, stopping by and checking it out. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, big cheers.